try one more. Let's see how we do with this. Here we go, one, two, three. Did y'all see that? I actually made it in the hole. Nice. In this episode, I explore an old historic sanatorium prison hospital dating back to 1908. But how and why did it get here? Early in the 19th century, the disease called tuberculosis was running rampant. It was so bad that it killed one in seven people who have ever lived. At the time, tuberculosis was the leading cause of death. It was one of the most feared diseases in the world. At the turn of the 20th century, almost 500 Americans died from tuberculosis every day, mainly between the ages of 15 and 44. This means if you caught this disease, you will most likely die with no real cure. This disease was mainly found in cities with many people and filthy living conditions. And it was the poor people that would suffer from this sickness the most. Throughout the 1800s and early 1900s, patients would seek treatments in sanatoriums, where it was believed that fresh air, open windows, and a healthy climate would change the course of this disease, which couldn't be further from the truth. In 1882, a German microbiologist, Robert Kuch, discovered tuberculosis was not genetic, but highly contagious. The medical community embraced him, and the United States launched a massive health campaign to educate the public on tuberculosis prevention and treatment. Early in the 20th century, many private resorts and county-owned sanatoriums began opening to treat tuberculosis. Government funding was secured to purchase land and build a sanatorium to fight the growing pandemic. Most sanatoriums would always be away from big cities and around fewer people to stop the spread. So often, you will find them in rural areas. This place opened with only several dozen patients, but the sanatorium grew to hundreds of patients over the next several decades. By the 1980s, with a lower rate of tuberculosis, this sanatorium was transferred over to a prison system, at the time as one of the last remaining hospitals that were exclusively devoted to treating tuberculosis. While under the operation of a prison system, the facility served as a minimum security health center for male inmates, and the property remained under the operation of the Department of Corrections until it was permanently closed. And that's why in this exploration, I'm diving deep into the endless corridors, peeling paint and the echoes of the past to reveal the untold stories within these haunting walls. The name is Ranger Rick. My mission in this series is to go back to the past, dig it up, search for clues, and stay curious. In each episode, I tell stories of abandoned places and their history. So come with me, let's explore together, and see what we can find. What's up, Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ranger Rick TV. And by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the tier one package. For $5 a month in the tier two package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Now enjoy the show. Hey guys, welcome back. 
I just entered the prison hospital and this is going to be quite the episode because I'm in a place like this all alone and I'm not gonna lie it is very sketchy I got a mask on for asbestos reasons but uh yeah I'm legit pretty scared here by myself okay here we go What are these forms for? Is there anything in here? No. Wow. Look at this. There's a lot of natural light coming in this room. I love this room. One of the first rooms that you enter and you see nothing but natural light. It's quite a spectacle. Looks pretty peaceful outside. If I do say so myself. What is this room? Oh, this is another front room with the windows. I'm telling you, this place is on point with the windows. I love them. Oh man, look at this. This is what I live for. Especially in Urbex, I love when Mother Nature starts doing this stuff. Look at that. That is immaculate. Beautiful. I'm walking into this room right here. See a whole bunch of, I guess that's mattresses or something. Oh, we got the crunchies. speak Spanish but uh, maybe somebody in the comments can fill us in what does this say actually I got Google Translate all right let's use Google Translate and let's do it right now let's see what happens okay it says medical assistance all inmates at McCain Hospital have access to health care all right and it just goes on about other stuff too about what they do but you get the gist. Here we have some, looks like some hospital beds or something. Creepy looking. I wanna show you guys every room because all these rooms look kinda of linear, meaning they all just kinda of look the same. So I don't wanna bore you too much with that. See what I'm saying? They just kinda of all look the same. Nothing too exciting yet. The good stuff has yet to come. What's in here? Oh wow, it's a nice looking bathroom. It's very pretty in here. Look at this. Oh, it's so bright in here, good God. It's so bright in here, like it wants to blind you. <laughs> This is beautiful. I love this. Beautiful. And uh, no abandoned places complete without say, say it with me, green tiling. How you guys doing? Give me a thumbs up, baby. Yo yo. That is so old. An old phone booth, if you can picture, there was a phone right here. And the closer you would get in, the less echo you would hear. All of this is sound ending. What is this? See some leftover patient files here, maybe? Certified mail. Oh, it's just, it's just stuff scattered all out.
That's a lot of chairs in there. That is a lot of chairs. This is juked up right back in that corner right there. Ooh, I wish you guys were here with me right now. I am totally freaked out. Because there's only one way in this building and one way out. Oh, this room's an automatic win. Watch this. y'all it's an automatic win. What is all this stuff in here? This room looks wicked. I don't even use that word that much, but this room looks pretty wicked. This, this, this is like a time capsule. Like, look at all these old typewriters. Can you guess when these were from? Leave it in the 80s. I mean, <laughs> leave it in the comments. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. This was from the 80s. That was probably from the 80s. Did I just say leave it down in the 80s? <laughs> I meant to say leave it down in the comments. You see, when you get in places like this, you think everything's gonna be fine, but it's not because like your senses are like up here. You know what I mean? Like this stuff gets to be quite nerve wracking when you're in a hospital. Oh, look at this. When you're in a hospital by yourself, you know? And here we have the canteen section, which we just came out of. Look at this elevator, just stuck in time with the brick. Actually, that doesn't feel like brick at all. Okay, that does. This does not, I don't know. I know y'all want me to press it. Y'all been wanting this real bad. So here we go, I'm gonna press it. Yeah. This looks like the back kitchen. Now, if I was in prison, this is where I wanna be most of the time. Cause I'd be eating most of the time, you're Look at that. Yes, indeed. Wow, look at this. This is ridiculous. Look at all this stuff left behind. What the hell? Look how much decay. Look how much decay is in this room. That is absolutely fantastic. found this room right here now I don't know how this fully works but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a guess now I've been researching some of this stuff and the reason why you see pictures of tools on the wall is because the prison doesn't want anything to go unseen or missing because they're scared prisoners are gonna take stuff so this is where you have to return them so they can all be accounted for And this is part of the back room kitchen. And this right here, if you want to know what a potato peeler looks like, we have one right here. Look at that. That is a potato peeler with lid paint peels. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> this back here I see a glimpse of something cool whoa whoa look at that that is amazing who the hell put this here who in the hell put this here look at this this is insane look at the detail on that wow that is quite impressive wow 
Man, I wonder if this was done by a prisoner. Could have been. Here's part of the picture from the outside. That feels like concrete. Definitely feels like concrete. And this, oh, it's, I get it. This is part of the wall. Let me see. Yeah, it's definitely part of the wall. Well, okay. That's cool, I like that. Food and nutrition services. One mission, good nutrition. You got it. This place is so massive. It's got its own power plant across the street. Can y'all see that? Right here. And this is a really big safe door. This is like one of the biggest safes I've ever seen. Look at that. I tell you, walking through these lonely hallways when you are by yourself adds a whole new element to fear. I feel like I have to say the sign of the cross while entering this place. Okay, let's go in here. You could tell this room hasn't been updated in quite some time. This must be like an older section of the hospital. We have an old tube screen TV. Those are so cool. Oh my goodness. I thought I saw something down here I want to check out, but I want to check out what's down here. Now this may look like a lot of trash, but I mean, it kind of is now, but this is what all the prison guards left behind. They look like they used to keep maybe guns in here or either a bottle of pepper spray. Wow. Look at all, who is this? Who is that? Wow. I love finding stuff like this behind. It's all left behind. Somebody left the left behind American flag. It's a biker helmet. Wow. It's so creepy. wonder what's in this bottle. Looks like water, but I wouldn't trust it. Nope. Anyone ever seen a can of white Cheetos before? Well, here's your chance. They're white. This is, uh, it's getting pretty impressive. I 
really think I hear something. But I don't know where it's coming from. Is it coming from above me or ahead of me? I don't know. I can't see anything. But I'm definitely hearing stuff. Okay. Let's continue. Oh yeah, this room looks really pretty. Look at this. And right away we got some biohazard stuff kind of lingering out, so we'll be cautious about that. But I like what I see here. This looks like a partition for like a patient. Leave it in the comments. What's behind that trap door? As I walk down this hallway, my head is bobbing from the left to the right because I'm checking all these rooms as much as I can because you never know if somebody's just gonna pop out in front of you scared the piss out of you. Wow. What do we have here? Oh, this is the end of the hall and this is the part that kind of just juts out. Oh wow. We got some patient beds left behind. Oh, look at that. Why is there a half a door here? Half the door is missing. Let's go look outside real quick, make sure ain't nobody showing up unexpected. Okay, looks uh, pretty peaceful outside, I guess. So we'll just leave it at that. in this hallway. Let me turn my light on. It's extremely dark. It's dark in this hallway. Let me turn my light on. There we go. Oh, this is starting to like... Alright, this is starting to get a little complicated now. It's starting to like branch off. This is what I don't like when hospitals start to branch off because that's when you start getting lost. Whoa, what is all this equipment down here? I don't think we're gonna need that light. What is this? This looks like the uh, rehabilitation room. So it seems, wow. Oh yeah. This has got to be for like exercise or rehabilitation, maybe. Or maybe even extra storage for wheelchairs. Wow. It's impressive. That's pretty cool. An old mailbox. with no mail, followed by a phone, or a phone booth. Now we're starting to see some serious, serious decay. Look at all this decay in here. Wow. That is a lot. Look at all that. That is sick. What is that noise? I think there's a bumblebee behind that window. Yep, there's a bumblebee behind there. And I'm not gonna mess with them. Oh look, look what I found. This place even had a basketball court. Can y'all see that? love these rooms. I really, really do. These are like the best rooms in here. I love this hospital just for these rooms. 
They're so bright. So this is where they must have kept like the really bad prisoners. Cause you got these little food trays built in the door right there. So the guards can feed them food when they get hungry. Yeah, see, this whole hallway has those things inside the door. This one doesn't have it though. This looks like an office. This place is absolutely surrounded in bamboo forest and trees. Why is that though? I don't get it. I've seen these before. And I think these are toilets. I'm pretty sure. Let's see if this still opens. I'm not gonna force it. I think that's how you flush it. This room looks promising. Oh yeah, definitely looks promising. So far, this is probably the best room in this hospital. Yeah, look at all that. So much decay that's left behind. That is disgusting. That is nasty. Ugh. Ugh. I'm telling you, going down these hallways with all these beds just thrown around gives you a very, very ominous feeling. Look at that. You want to come to a place that's post-apocalyptic? Come here. You'll have a good time, I promise you. <laughs> I'm gonna step outside real quick. I'm gonna show y'all what it's like outside on the second floor. Look how tall these bamboo trees get. Now this is the second floor, but look how tall they get. They go all the way up to the third floor. Isn't that something? And of course this looks not sturdy. Something I'm getting used to by now, you know what I'm saying? That's the uh, facade on this building. I tell you what, this uh, facade, like these bricks are uh, standing the testament of time. You know what they could probably do with a place like this? Make it into apartments. I'm sure it would do well. And I found some of these military stretchers. Some really old kind. Looks like a operating table. Oh, wow. Talk about decay. Wow. <laughs> this is like some of the most extensive decay ever, but it's so cool. I love seeing this. Look at this. Oh, this is, this is fantastic. Doesn't get much better than that. I tell you, these rooms just keep getting better and better. That's a whole lot of desk. I love this room. This room is fantastic. Look at that. Outside looking pretty good. Yep. I found something pretty gnarly. This is a whole basket full of nothing but used needles and medicine. That is disgusting. Ugh. Is that a full bag of urine? Oh no, never mind. That is not a full bag of urine. Kind of look like it though. If you're wondering where I'm at right now, I am in the nurse's station. Oh wow. Now this is impressive. Look at all these mechanical beds here. Look at that. That looks amazing. Look, they're all lined up in a row. There's some uniformity going on here. Well, look, lead paint. 
This is just remarkable. Something like this bit right here. The nurses will come in, press a few buttons, and this bed would recline the feet and recline the legs. That's really good if you have circulation problems or any breathing problems. It's good for that. Um, it did not have lumbar support, but you didn't need it when you were laying down. A lot of think a lot of people think they need lumbar when they lay down, but it's not true. And over here, whoa, is this a prison? Oh yeah, this is a prison. Oh shit. Oh, we're getting into the prison part now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is the laboratory. Holy shit. Whoa. This is beyond disgusting. Look at all this stuff. Look at all the test tubes and why is that liquid green? There's green liquid right there, why? What is all this stuff? Oh, this is all biohazard shit. Ew. Man, talk about decay, huh? This is all natural decay. Right here, all along this. Everywhere in here, look at this. And look at all this stuff. Biohazard galore. What's in all those bottles? This place is really disgusting. What is it? Is that poo on the wall? Look at that. It's like somebody just smeared it. This is the, it's like a refrigerator with a wooden door. Oh, that door weighs like 300 pounds. No, oh, that's not creepy. There's a kid's table in the back over there. Why would it be in a refrigerator? It's so weird. So we just made it into the respiratory therapy rooms. And so far these rooms are not disappointing. This is absolutely disgusting. This thing almost looks like a floor cleaner. Like something like a janitor would use or something. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. There's a lot left behind in here. Oh, I see Christmas decorations. And you. I don't have asthma, but I heard that's a pretty bad illness if you do have it. Oh, it looks, oh, look right here. It tells you everything that's bad for asthma. Dust mites, animal dander, pollen, molds. Can't be in this bitch. Big old power plants, yes indeed. Here's an old school pencil sharpener. Look back here, this room is weird. It's got gold on the wall. Unfortunately, this room does not open. I'm only looking through this little board right here, but yeah, look at that. Well, you can see everything, oh look. There's doves right on the top of that little steeple right there. Can you see that? Look at that. Two doves. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, this is good. Looks like I found the library. This is a pretty nice library. Looks like it's been blown to bits in here, but it's still cool, you know? I'm very appreciative of abandoned places. 
and never destroy anything and never take them because that's protocol between us and other urbexers and other explorers but I know for a fact that people will still take stuff and trash it unfortunately most likely small kids worlds of H beam Piper big three in Europe so this is what all the prisoners are reading huh and look at that we got more Christmas tree action we got an old can whole can of Mountain Dew Wow. So creepy in here. Look at this. God. Nasty, nasty, nasty books. And this looked like one big classroom or something. I don't know what this was. It looked like it. And here we go. This chapel has definitely seen better days, but this is the chapel. You want to know something? It's on the second floor. I would think it would be like on the first. That's just how it goes. Wow. Yeah, this is really something else. I'm impressed. Very, very impressed with this stuff. Wow. And look at those air vents up there. I think those air vents are from the 50s. I remember when they used to look like that. Pretty sure that's, uh, yeah, around the 50s. I just made it to the roof. Not too much going on out here, except the birds and the bees and these lovely little plants. <laughs> I bet you any money that this used to be a surgery room. That's probably where they had the swivel light that swivels around, maybe an operating room. Pretty sure. Look at all the black mold on the ceiling. Good Inside God. this room, we have an operating table where you will lay across while the nurses and doctors cut you open. Look at all the mold on this. I had to touch it. Look at this. You want a TV, you come here. Because that is a lot of TVs. Look at all of that. That is disgusting. I'm glad I came to this floor. This is the third floor. And this looks like a dentist's office. Pretty sure that's what I'm looking at here. It's got some really cool dentist chairs left behind. Look at that. Oh, this is the front of the building, actually. Wow. Now that is nice looking. Look at that. Huh? Yes, indeed. This all, what is this back here? This almost looks like a back kitchen, maybe nurse's station, I don't know. I don't know what they use this for. Oh, this is for doctor's tools. I know that. At least I think that's what it's used for. And yeah, they look like they definitely use this for storage. Sometime. What the hell? Oh God, that's of a person. Looks like they got blood stains on his back too. That is nasty. Oh yeah, this is definitely the storage room. I'm seeing a whole bunch of needles, a whole bunch of syringes, everything left behind. Wow. And asbestos tape. What the hell is asbestos tape? And look at all these bottles here. That is cool, really cool. Wow, look at this room. Now that 
is impressive. Look at all that mold on the floor. Oh my God. Look at that. It's curling trees in this bitch. Look at all of that. Somebody tore up the stuffing on that couch. Luckily I got a mask on because it is nasty in this room. Damn. Ooh, that's nasty. Look at that. They really do have sprouts in here. What is this? What the hell am I looking at back here? Well, these rooms are creepy. What the hell? No smoking oxygen. Let's go in here and see what we can find. This is like, might be the final boss room or something. Whoa, I would say. Jeez. Wow. Now this is definitely classic. There's an autoclave machine. Wow. Look at that old kitchen sink right there. This is where the doctors used to come in and wash their chicken. <laughs> this must be a bathroom or something. Yeah, this is definitely a bathroom. Whoa, here we go. Oh, look at this, the last date on the calendar. I'm surprised it took me this long to figure out where the calendar was. December, 2011. That's the last date this place was open, pretty sure. This room definitely deserves a wow. Look at all these beds. That's a lot of beds. Just hanging out in here, not doing nothing, except rotten. I love this room. This is like probably the best room so far. And look, you even have these little lights on the top right there of this, on the top of the ceiling, on the wall. And I'm pretty sure right here is where they kept all the medicine. Oh wow. Beautiful room, beautiful. What did they keep behind this door though? You could tell they didn't build this up to code because the door can't even open past this pipe. Oh shit. Oh, it goes into that room. All right. You got these football helmets in here just in case the patients would go crazy because some of them, they were mental and they used to beat their head against the wall. So this would pr uh, protect their heads. Pretty, uh, pretty dark history in here. Something I wouldn't want to be a part of. To the inside of the basement. And it doesn't disappoint because you got machines like this down here. Oh, this is for x-rays. Because you got the x-ray door right there. Tons, huh. of, tons of paperwork on the floor. Look at that. Full of x-rays. Wow. Don't even know what that is. Don't think I want to know. Ooh, this is cool. We have an old x-ray machine here. Wow. Creepy elevator. This is scary. I'm not going in there, but look at this. Well, so much for that. I was gonna close the door, but you can't. Look at the old buttons. That's so cool. What the hell is this room? Oh, wow, that's cool. Just found a whole bunch of pool tables. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, I'm about to have me some fun. Watch this. Try one more. Let's see how we do with this. Here we go, one, two, three. Did y'all see that? I actually made it in the hole. Nice. Just found a cool drum. I don't even know why they would have that here, but all right. Oh, this is like a, um, 
This is like a rec room area or something. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Yeah, we got drums and stuff. A little treadmill, a little bicycle there. They got everything in here, huh? Got some of these little games, I love those. Oh, <laughs> let's light up the Christmas tree. What's this little guy doing? What is that thing? Lonely little light. Look at all these crunchies. That's a lot of crunchies. This place, I tell you, this place has some amazing views. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. Look at all the kudzo vines too. Look how they just take over all the trees and all the telephone poles. That is rad. I love that. Wow. Amazing. 